Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at the Unreal Engine 4. Um, Unreal Engine 4 is free now to download. So yeah, download yourself a copy. If you're not entirely familiar how Unreal Engine works, um, this should give you a pretty general idea how to get started. So let's get started. Okay, this is what you get when you first open Unreal Engine. And I have no projects um, here yet. So let's go new project. And in here you can select um, C++ or Blueprint. Now if you're insane, you will select C++, but since we are not insane, we're going to select a Blueprint because this allows us to create games without programming. All right. So I'm going to select a first person. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's uh, create the project. Let's call this one uh, Sparkman. Waiting for this to load. This could take a while. Be patient. Six and a half hours later. All right, so our template is open. And you can see that um, there are a few boxes here. So let's run this. Let's try it out. And um, you can shoot the boxes. All right. I'm going to exit this. And I'm going to create a new level. Default. And uh, now it's just blank. But if I run this, you'll notice that um, I can still shoot things. But it's kind of like a long drop down there. Whoa, that's high. All right, so let's create something in a real engine. Um, I'm going to um, make the uh, play area a lot bigger. And um, let's move the uh, start position somewhere back here. And uh, so what we're going to create in this uh, video, it's a, um, a trigger here and a light over here. So when we walk into the trigger, um, the light is going to come on. All right. So let's um, insert a light. Okay. And let's change the intensity to super high. And let's make this red just because we can. All right. Let's insert a trigger here on the volumes. Let's insert a uh, trigger volume and uh, let's make this a lot bigger. Oops. All right. And that seems not too bad. So if you run this right now, you'll notice that uh, nothing happens. The light is on. So let's turn the light off. Uh, when the um, when the game first starts, let's uh, turn it off. Let's run this, and you notice that the light is off. Okay, so let's create a new blueprint. Open level blueprint, and I'm going to delete this here. Let me bring out the um, delete. And here you have the most common events. Okay, so start of frame or begin event, begin play, whatever. Um, on the rendering, we need a uh, visibility. Okay, uh, let me see rendering, rendering. Let's toggle um, visibility and. Um, we want to uh, select our light, right click and insert a reference point to the light. Okay, so here is the start of the frame and we connect it to toggle visibility. Okay, and here is the target we want to turn on. All right, let's try it out. You notice that the light is on now at the start of the frame. So let's delete this here and let's do it um, based on uh, this sensor. Okay, so I'm going to, while this selected, I'm going to right click and uh, let's uh, call a collision. If the uh, actor is overlapping uh, the sensor, we're going to connect it to the visibility. Okay. 
So now we can't see it if we touch the sensor. This will come on. All right. We can do this um, the other way around as well. While well, this is still selected under the blueprint, I'm going to right click, go to collision, and um, I'm going to select um, the opposite, okay? If the actor is not overlapping that area. So I'm going to connect it to the visibility as well. So this will turn it off. Okay. It comes on. It goes off. All right. Now this here could be a door or anything. Okay, so we'll do that later. Okay, thanks for watching.